I don't claim to be a good caller, Luke, but um, I don't think it's as hard as people make it out to be. One of the key things is not calling too loud when the birds are close. If they come through looking at decoys, let them fly out and pass and then call when they're, say, 100 yards away. I'll try and call. This might sound ghastly while I try and hold the phone. I've got a demo. Okay, here we go. Yeah. I don't know how that sounds. Oh, Probably is that awful, it? But uh, if that's just the basic call. <coughs> wank, 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 wank. What you're trying to do is sound like a contented female duck on the pond primarily, which is really, I'll have another go. <coughs> that's not from an electronic. That's you. Yeah, it is. Yeah, oh, but anyway. Um, credit, oh, where credit's due. That was pretty darn sharp. Well, yeah, some ducks <laughs> would beg to differ, I assure you. But anyway... Um, Basically, you just the wah, 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 just a lazy hen who's content. So you're trying to imitate that, and then a more excited call is that other one that's got a slightly faster tempo. Doesn't have to be perfect, and there's guys that are well a hell of a lot better than I am at it. But it's really about when you call and when you don't call. If they're too close and approaching, don't call too loudly because these calls are a lot louder than uh, an actual duck. And one of the other things that I encourage people to do is kind of learn from what you're doing. Watch how the ducks react. Okay, so think, right, I blew a call when they were 50, 60 metres away and I saw them all go, ooh, and flare, you know, change their wing pattern or swerve a bit whilst flying. Um, So don't do that again. You know, try when they're 80 metres out or something like that. And if you blow at the right time, they'll turn around. You need to give them enough time to get well out there so when you do call them and they turn around, they've got time to actually drop down to a level where they might present a shot for you and or consider sort of landing. Um, Yeah, so learn, learn from what you're doing and observe, you know, it's a key part of hunting.